Hey everybody, today I'm going to do a much requested was going without the Disney dining plan worth it? What we learned? Did we save money? You know, all the common questions that I'm asked pretty much on a weekly basis now. So we went to Disney back in April. We went from a Monday to a Tuesday and we did no dining plan. There are two adults, one Disney adult, and three kids, so doing the dining plan is pretty expensive for us. Um, even just the quick service plan, it's pretty expensive for us. When we, when we went in, we went in kind of thinking of like a quick service, table service, like in between. So we had planned Mama Melrose lunch, Be Our Guest lunch, Tusker House breakfast, T-Rex dinner, Ohana dinner, and Via Napoli lunch. At the time, we had never done Tusker House, Ohana for dinner, and Via Napoli. Um, we went into this essentially because we were trying to sell our house and we wanted to save as much money as possible. So when we went down there, I had like one and a half to two suitcases filled with breakfast foods, snacks, uh, bread, uh, stuff to make peanut butter and jelly any and everything under the sun. Uh, when we went back home, thankfully those suitcases were used for souvenirs and stuff. If not, we would have had two empty suitcases, but those suitcases were packed to the brim. I will say that we did not have enough breakfast food. The kids really did not want um, like pop tarts after a while. They really did like the um, like mini muffins that I had brought. Um, we did cereal. They liked cereal, but there wasn't enough of the ones that they liked they could eat like that kind of like, you know, dry or whatever because we really didn't have any milk there. Um, and we didn't have room in our refrigerator for milk. So breakfast was kind of hard. The last like two to three days of the trip, we ended up going down to the food court and getting um, pastries. And it was like $15 every time we did it. And everyone was so much more happy with that. So in the grand scheme of things, I would have spent that $15 every day instead. So the first day that we went, we went to Yak and Yeti. We got three drinks, two kids meals with burgers and grapes and cookies and apple juice, a honey chicken meal and a barbecue chicken meal, a side of rice and an egg roll. It was $55.19. All of that food was pretty much gone. We did have a little tiny bit left. Um, I won't say that everyone was in love with it. Uh, you know, if we would have done the dining plan, we probably would have just got three like honey chicken meals, but we were trying to save money with the uh, kids meals. And I'm just not quite sure if the kids really love them, but it was $55 and 19 cents. Um, we stopped that afternoon uh, because like, kids rode different things and it was like accomplishing things for them so we got six ice cream cones with soft serve for $25.50 these were huge these were worth it and these would have been snack credits we then went to the food court and we got six uh souvenir mugs which is $107.34 in retrospect I shouldn't have got all of them I should have gotten two for Jeff and I and one for Trevor and Aubrey to split uh, or even maybe one for Trevor and one for Aubrey. I shouldn't have gotten one for Casey and Ellie because they don't really like the drinks there and I did have apple juice and stuff like that sent to the room and they were perfectly content with that type of stuff. So again, one of those things that you know you live and learn. Um, at Art of Animation, we got, um, I got a make your own pasta meal that was $12.77. Jeff and the kids got, it looks like three burger meals that was $41.51. And at this time, Jeff was adamant, we're doing the dining plan on um, all trips. Not being able to get whatever we wanted, really having to watch what we get, not just, you know, seeing, knowing that we're paying that ahead of time, yeah, it sucks, but it's like, you're okay with it. Knowing that you can get whatever you want. And we both felt at that time that like we were missing out, like not having a dessert with our meals and stuff like that. Um, so let's see here. Day two, we um, went to Cosmic Rays. My husband had a barbecue burger for $16. 
The kids and I had two kids meals, three waters, three sodas, and a ribbon chicken combo, and that was around $42. Um, we all left very full after that. Ellie had some like snacks and I did bring drinks with us. So every day I was having to pack two coolers. One was full of drinks and like cold snacks and one was full of snacks. It was a pain with security because they have to obviously search your bag. So that's two more bags that they have to search. And it was just heavy to carry around. Even though it was in our stroller, it was just one more thing that we had to carry back and forth and everything like that. Um, that day we ended up getting six like Mickey bars or Mickey sandwiches and that was again $25.50. Um, we had split off for a little bit so I ended up getting a uh, Gaston's LeFou's brew and a cinnamon roll that was $9.57 and then dinner was $36.39. Jeff and I just got two meals at Art of Animation. We both got a dessert and we yeah there was no drinks. Um, the kids ate dinner in the room, um, stuff we had brought, you know, stuff like that. And we also had gotten two drinks and a coffee at Starbucks for $11. I had a free gift card, so I, you know, kind of didn't count that in or whatever. Um, so at, by this point, we were up to $372. Um, the dining plan would have been $378. So at this time, we weren't, you know, we weren't really breaking even. We were eating less than um, the, you know, dining plan and paying about the same. So then we went to Mama Melrose and we paid $156 for our Mama Melrose dinner. We were, we ordered some extra cupcakes because they have these really cute spaghetti and meatball cupcakes. When we went the first trip in September, it was a huge cupcake. We brought three of them back to our room, split them in half, and I remember this and I have pictures of this. We ordered extras this trip and I paid $5 for extras. They were this big, I kid you not. I flipped out, I was so mad. They ended up giving us some money back, but it was just like the whole like relay, like I just wasn't impressed with that. And then um, $8.50 for Ellie and Jeff to have an ice cream treat while we waited in line for Jedi Training Academy. Um, this day we had leftovers from all of the pasta that we ate in our room, so we just heated that up for dinner and you know, we were fine. At Mama Melrose, we did have a kid's chicken parm, an adult spaghetti and chicken, adult spaghetti, or steak with mac and cheese. Um, this one, I was kind of mad too because we had to, um, you know, pay for Trevor for an adult meal and he did not want anything on the adult meal. Normally, he wants stuff on the adult meal. He, a lot of the stuff was just different stuff that's not to his palate. And I was really frustrated that they wouldn't, like, make an exception for it it just and I know it's the rule or whatever but it's just like he was like almost in tears and I was like really and I'm like you know why can't I or even like pay like a little bit more for like an adult version of one of the kids meals and they wouldn't do that it was just kind of frustrating um so the next day we had done Starbucks and a, uh, and a snack um and that was three dollars and 19 cents and then we grabbed a giant fruit snack bag for Ellie as the other kid, people were riding rides. That was $5.50. Um, we got a caramel popcorn at Epcot and that was stale and it was like $6 and change. And again, it was one of those things where it's like if I was on the dining plan, I wouldn't have cared. But because I had just paid $6 for it, I was so frustrated. Um, I got fish and chips and a drink that day for $13. We got two cronuts for $11. Um, and then we went to Ohana for dinner that night. Um, Ohana was really good food, but again, my kids just weren't, some of them liked some of it, some of them didn't like hardly any of it, some of it liked all of it, and it was just one of those things where we paid $231.56 for the bill plus tip and we had an extra $6 in. So it was kind of frustrating that that you know we paid that again if we were on the dining plan we wouldn't have cared as much um plus they brought out like brownies with cool whip and stuff and m&ms for the kids and they made trevor have the bread pudding and he really wanted the brownie and seeing all the other kids eat it so again it's just those little things that just kind of stings a little bit so at that point we were at 798 dollars and 56 for food quick service would have cost $567, but we would have still had to pay out of pocket for the Ohana. Table service would have been $778 plus tips. Um, but at that time, I don't know if we would have evened out because we didn't have the right amount of, you know, food or whatever. Um, the next day, um, Ellie was pretty sick. Uh, so 
we ended up packing food for the kids for lunch and it was $26 for two sandwiches, a bread and a bag of chips at, um, at Disney Springs. Earl of Sandwich for Jeff and I would pack the kids lunch and again we felt bad for that. Um, then we went and got $30 of Rice Krispie treats. Uh, Jeff and I had the food court that night for around $16 or less. So our new table service was, our new total was $8.71. Quick service would have been $7.96 plus two table service meals. And the table service option would have been $1,037. So at this point, we finally fell under the dining plan. Again, we weren't eating like we were on the dining plan. So it was a give and take for us. Um, Jeff was like really upset at this point. He really wanted, you know, what he wanted. Um, that night we had uh, macaroni and cheese cups for the kids. The four pack was $3.79 and there was some um, desserts in there for them. So, you know, they were fine. They had the desserts from Mama Melrose. It wasn't really that big of a deal. Um, and then we went to be our guests. We uh, paid $71 for two kids meals, two adult meals, three cupcakes, and two drinks. Um, it was, you know, it, it, it was what it was at that time. And, you know, we want that meal and it sucks paying $71 for it. But again, it is what it is. The next day, I don't know what we ate for dinner that day. I think we may have went back to our room. We d we left for a two and a half hour break and ate and then came back. Um, so we must have just ate in our room. Just, you know, what we had plenty of leftovers, I think, at that point in time. Uh, the next time was $179 at uh, Tusker House in the morning for breakfast. Uh, you know, at that time, that was, I think, the first character meal that we had done, and everyone loved it, even my husband. So it was one of those situations where he's like, you know what, we need to do a character meal once every time. Um, so yeah. Uh, let's see, what else did we do? And I'm sorry I'm looking at my phone, but I had this written all down for a group that I'm in, so it's just much easier for me to go in and look here. So then next up, we went to T-Rex. We paid $57 after my birthday reward and a $25 gift card from Swagbucks. And then I got a free dessert because they messed up something on my meal. Um, that was a good meal. We always love that meal. Uh, it's great. The next morning, we had four muffins and pastries from the food court for $15. Uh, at Epcot, we did Via Napoli. Uh, that was... Right, how much it was. We got an appetizer and then a pizza, and the appetizer I would not get again. It was $90 with a tip. Again, really cheap meal if you're not on the dining plan. Uh, we then went and paid $8.73 for this like puff thing and then a school bread from Norway. I wouldn't get the puff thing again, but I would get the school bread again. Um, for dinner that night, the kids had raviolis uh, with leftover Disney treats, and I had leftover pasta, and then I had gotten a cupcake that my husband had gotten me, and then he had gotten a steak and egg and cheeseburger meal with brownie bites, and he liked that burger. That was $25, but we had a $100 credit on our account for some Magic Band issues that keep happening. Um, so in the end, we paid, if we didn't get that $100 free credit, we paid $1,400, or $1,465. Um, we did spend about $100 for drinks, snacks, etc., but um, sometimes we do similar to that on the dining plan, so about $15.65. Quick service dining plan would have cost us $15.12, and table service would have cost us $19.97.20. Um, we had four table service and tons of snacks and some quick services. So, in the grand scheme of things, we will not go back to Disney again unless we have the dining plan. So for us, the dining plan is important. We like having the meals in our resorts and saving the drinks to bring to the parks the next day. That saves us from a trip from Amazon or whatever. We like having the refillable mugs and not worrying about it. We like having our desserts with most of our meals. We like getting the snacks. We like the dining plan. The dining plan works for us. Um, we don't need to do the table service every time. I will say that we did the table service our first trip. We did quick service, table service, nothing. Our second trip, it was a split stay. And then this last one, we did nothing. Our next trip, we we're actually gonna do the table service dining plan and get some more table services in there. Now that we have done Disney a few times, we are a little bit more chill and relaxed and do enjoy sitting down and enjoy our time eating. 
we have now learned that we get up, we rope drop, we get a lot of stuff done, and then we like a meal for lunch where we sit down and kind of relax. We actually prefer to do table services for lunch because it really does take about two, two and a half hours. And in that time, that's really when the parks are super, super crowded. And by then we can normally get an extra fast pass and then start doing some either park touring or go back to our resort and relax for a little bit and then go back at night. Um, we love quick service there too. Um, in all honesty, we could do the dining plan, or we could do Disney without the dining plan. We could pack our, you know, food and whatever, and be fine with that. However, for us, I think that we're learning that it's part of the Disney experience for us. And by all means, you could save a lot more money. I am not one. I'm allergic to peanut butter, so I can't have peanut butter and jelly. I am not one that I want to pack a lunch for myself every day. It's really easy for me to pack lunches for the kids, but then I have that guilt of, well, I'm eating a meal and they're not. And that's why we got so many ice cream treats for them. We stopped and got ice cream a lot for them. Um, we did it at Magic Kingdom one day and my kids like them all. They like the Mickey bars. They like, like the Mickey like popsicle bars. They liked um, the lemonades. They really liked it all. They liked the soft serve. We like all of that stuff, but like I said, for us, it just, and I missed some meals because I know we got ice cream and stuff too, um, and we did Casey's one time as well, so I don't know where those meals are, but um, in the grand scheme of things, it's all about what you make it. If you are fine brown bagging it, by all means, you can save a crap ton of money. I would suggest doing like one quick service and one table service and maybe like one character meal, but that's, you know, totally up to you because it does sting when you're paying that for us two to three hundred dollars for any table service meal. If you're going to do a table service meal, do breakfast. It's cheaper. The characters are still there. You know, it is what it is. So for us, it's definitely just a part of the way that we vacation and we will always do the, the dining plan from now on. We do have a trip booked for the future. I'm not quite sure if we're going to take it or not, but we do have the dining scheduled. And for that one, the dining options that I have booked, again, not sure if we're going to be taking this trip or not. We have a Liberty Tree Tavern lunch. We have a Whispering Canyon Cafe. We have Mama Melrose lunch, the Garden Grill, Coral Reef, Tusker House breakfast. Again, that's the only repeat. Yak and Yeti uh, be our guest breakfast. Uh, we can't get a hold of a be our guest lunch reservation for that time. So that one we may have to skip unless one pops up like the day of or something, but I'm really happy with those options. And again, if a VR guest dinner reservation popped up, I would take it in a heartbeat because I like their steak. Um, but yeah, it's all, you know, it'll all depend on like my husband's job and stuff like that, where we've just moved and we have to make sure we can get the time off and all that stuff. So um, that's my thoughts on the dining plan. If you have any questions, please ask me down below. Um, I will say that if we were annual pass holders, you know, we would have saved 20% on that total and maybe that would have made it more worth it. I don't know. For me, we just like knowing it's all paid for. We have X, Y, and Z. This is what we can pick. We are never that family that ends up like having a bunch left over and stocking up in the end. We do it to a point, but not a ton. And normally we can get like Rice Krispie treats or whatever with that. Uh, our next trip is going to be a shorter trip, so I can't even see that happening. So thanks for watching. I hope this was informative. Again, ask me any questions you have down below about it, and I'll try to do a video again. Sorry about my appearance. We just got back from the pool. I took a quick shower, and this is the quickest way for me to quickly film a video with the face on. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.